here we are at Homework Fitness. Tell What's going on? We're with Jordan, business owner here. Hi. All right, so tell us about this gym, what you do. So uh, this is Homework Fit Studio. Instincts going no looking bad like a bat with an eye patch. All black through the woods with a backpack and a lit match. Spark one time, get the whole city looking like a dark set of orange when I burn it down. What it is, what it do, whole click getting live on the talk of the town. Let me say he had a mouth and it wouldn't shut up. On a hunt for a crown when they get it, I'ma burn it cause nobody in the game right now even deserve it. What in the crown? So for you see a military press, what I suggest to people, don't break 90 degrees with your elbows. Keeps your, your shoulders in caution tension yep. with the dumbbells. Um, and we don't need to fully straighten out our elbows either. Puts too much pressure on the joint. Just a little flex in the elbow. Easy way to get those dumbbells up. Use your legs, kick those boys up. Especially when you're doing heavier weight. So you notch going past 90 degrees. Nice strong reps. You can tell he's using his core nicely. We're almost there. Okay, let's go for one more. And up, up. There we go. Beauty. So Tyler performed really good reps there. Elbows never broke 90 degrees, nice and strong. Kept tension on the shoulders the entire time. So that was a really execute, or well executed set. Ah. Get the big hundo. And these are big hundreds too. <laughs> I don't even know, I think the, they only have 120s that are higher than these for these ones. Yeah. Because they're just absolutely gigantic. <laughs> I can't imagine what 150s would look like. Tips for lifting heavy on shoulders? Um, be strong. Safe. <laughs> Safely safe. Be, be safe. <laughs> yeah, safe is good. Um, make sure you're not trying to ego lift. Do something that you can't do. Um, if you need help, make sure to ask somebody for a spot. Yeah. Uh, nothing's worse than getting an injury in the gym and not being able to recover quick enough to get back into the gym. So, um, injury's fine. Let's say but, you hurt your you hurt your shoulders. It impedes you doing any upper body exercise, right? You want to do curls. Yeah. You're gonna activate a little bit of front delt, right? When you're doing the curls, yeah. even if you're trying to be super strict. Yeah. It's just the way body mechanics work, right? So if you have that shoulder injury. It's gonna be hurting that shoulder a lot oh, um, yeah. when you're trying to do anything, right? Yeah. So yeah, seriously. we just want to make sure we're doing it safely. Um, just you, you'll hit heavy weights eventually, right? So um, just work your way up to that. Okay. Um, hundos. Got the hundos going. Maybe wait. Light, light, light. Oh. There you go. Boom. No dropping the weights here? <laughs> yeah, we dropped the weights. Just keep it quiet today. Okay, we dropped the weights. Oh. Right on. Yep. Let's go. Yeah. Yep. There we go. Yep. One more, one more. Let's go. Up. Yeah. Beauty. So for these presses, I've, I train shoulders a lot. I like to train shoulders three times a week, generally. Mm -hmm. um, around three times. Uh, once every second day. I'll even do a couple sets of uh, lateral raises, a couple presses. Like I was telling Tyler earlier, after almost every one of my workouts, I like to do some face pulls, just to make sure we're hitting the rear delts. The upper traps a lot, they get neglected quite a bit, so um, other than that, I just like to train high volume for shoulders, and that's how I felt it worked for me to build my strength up. Eight to 12 reps? Yeah, eight to 12 reps, around four to five sets um, on, on moderate to heavy weight. Okay, all right. You can follow us at, on Instagram at homework double underscore FS, on Facebook at homework FS. Um, so those are the best places to contact us. Uh, our website right now, Work on a new website, so it's down at the moment, but we're working on it. So, lots of pricing inquiries through there. Um, as far as online programming and coaching goes, I charge 50 bucks for a program, um, and that's just for the program. We can do online coaching as well. Um, 
but depending on how much time you want to put into it, the length of your training program, we talk about pricing there. Um, so you can find our pricing online on our Instagram. We have packages ranging from one session up to 30 sessions. We're working on a new pricing scheme right now where um, if you want to ditch your gym membership, you come train with me. And obviously, we don't rent the space out to just regular people, so it'd be a, a fully personal training. Um, you come here three, four times a week, so the prices will depend on that. Um, but our base package right now is 30 sessions, it's 1,050. Uh, you can do that in three different payments. And when you come down here for your one-on-one -on -one personal training, it's just me and you, or Cassie and you, the other personal trainer. So, uh, or the both of us if you're lucky. It's nice and clean. It's, uh, it's got what you need, that's for sure. Like we're, we're talking earlier, like you don't need a bunch of machines. You just need to have the right trainer and the right equipment. That's all you really need. So I mean, it's got everything that you really need here. Like you got the rack, you got the dumbbells, you got the cables, you got a preacher, you got benches, you got everything here that you need. Some cardio machines, but you don't do too much cardio. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Wow.